the last episode. Mabel, get it together. Our psych midterm project is due in a week. Hmm, it doesn't matter. Nothing matters, everything ends. Sure, but if I don't hand this project in on time, my college career is gonna end. So can you stop wallowing and help me out? <sighs> I'm sorry, I'm just miserable. Why? Well, I'm on the last season of the interns, and I've got to the final episode, and. I can't bring myself to watch it. Like, I literally can't sit down and watch it. I feel like I'm experiencing a loss, like a death in the family. Don't you think that's a little dramatic? The situation's dramatic, so I'm dramatic. Listen, I mean, everyone gets attached to TV shows. That's normal. But everyone has to deal with the final episode. And it's just a show. It's not like it was ever real. Don't say it was never real. It was real to me, okay? I I watched that show from the beginning to the end, and I care about the characters, okay? I've seen them rise and fall and learn and laugh, and I've been there experiencing it too. I just, I can't believe it's over. I, I mean, they get to go on existing like they always have, and I just have to move on. Yeah, you're right. You don't get to live in a bubble with stories and dialogue written by Emmy award-winning writers. Instead, you have to do what the rest of us do and watch reruns. I wish our project was on nihilism. Well, uh, Aiden and Malia got that one, so we'll just have to deal with empathy. And all we have to do is a presentation on how empathy is or isn't a major contributing factor in our daily lives. Now, can you please focus? What are you doing? Jesus Christ, Talon! Well, if you weren't so focused on your phone, you'd be able to notice absolutely anything else. So what? You just came here to judge me some more, or are you going to leave me alone? No, I came to ask you what you were doing. <laughs> what do you mean? Why are you eating alone? I always eat alone. Always? No, I mean, not always. In high school, I mean, I had friends to sit with at lunch, but... But not here? No, not here. Making friends is hard. Unless they're TV show characters. Why are you being such an asshole? Well, I, I am a psych major. You want to know what I think? Not really. I don't think this is about the TV show at all. I think you're lonely. I think you miss having a group of friends, or you're depressed because you don't have a group of friends like your gang in your TV show, and you think you never will. And now you've grown this unhealthy attachment to the people on your computer screen, and you've come to the sudden realization that all these people you've come so close to aren't your friends at all. Fuck you. Please stop following me. Just trying to help. Help how? By psychoanalyzing me? Something I love just ended. Why does it have to be any deeper than that? So what if I eat lunch alone or, or care about stupid TV show characters? Who are you to come in and interrupt my lunch and pretend to know my shit? You know, if you know so much about psychology, you can just do the project yourself, asshole. Come in. Hey. Hey, girl. You look cute. You ready Thank to go? You. Just give me one second. I'll be ready.
Mabel, do you want to come? I'm alright. I think so. So, any ideas for the project? Mabel, you can't just give me the cold shoulder. This isn't a sitcom. Look, I'm sorry, okay? Taylor, can I speak to you in the hall for a moment? She wasn't doing anything either, and I don't want excuses, Taylor. You need a passing grade, or you're gonna have to retake this class. Understood? Yes. All right, let's get back to work. I'm sorry. For what? for yelling at you in the hall the other day, and you're right. It doesn't matter if I'm right. Are you kidding me? I've sat next to you for like half a semester now. You love being right. Well, it is a burden. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you tell me how important to you this grade was, you know, I mean, for the project? I kind of did. You just had your own stuff going on. I didn't want to put that on you. Did you watch that last episode? idea for the project. I, all I need you to do is like write a paragraph or so on, you know, the science behind empathy, and I'll do the rest. Are you, are you sure? I, I can help. <laughs> you already have. Well, I mean, are you going to tell me what's going on? <laughs> I gotta go, I gotta go. Okay. Jesus! Next we have Mabel and Taylin with Empathy. is the driving force that really affects almost everything that humans do. You know, it really becomes an obvious part of our lives when we immerse ourselves in something that we really love. You know, maybe it's a movie or a book or even our favorite TV show. I think it's because we just care about the people in them. You know, we get so connected to these characters and sometimes we find ourselves feeling more empathy for the characters than the people in our everyday lives. I mean, let's face it, real life relationships are hard and time consuming and difficult and most of the time when you're making friends, it's painful and, and frankly just awkward. However, when you're immersing yourself in a work of fiction, all of that hard work is done for you. You know, the characters' flaws and triumphs are shared with you in such a perfectly crafted way that you empathize with them so purely and you start to get so emotionally invested 
that you start to care too deeply in the lives of these fake characters. Sometimes our empathy is used so strongly in a world of fiction that we lose touch with our real lives and our real life relationships. And we need those interactions. We need that companionship with the people we care about because we need to feel for them. Because in turn, it helps us deal with all of our own flaws and triumphs. And now here's Taylin to talk to you about the science of empathy. <clears throat> Let's start at the beginning. First, there was nothing. And then, there was a bang. Some might even call it the Big Bang. Okay. Hey. I uh, figured you could use some company watching that final episode. I brought an offering. Thanks. Have you ever watched an episode of the show before? Uh, if you mean an entire episode, then no. <laughs> but you can't watch the last episode first. That's crazy. Listen, I came here to watch TV and eat fries with a friend. Not get accused of insanity. Wait. I mean, if you want, we can start all the way from the beginning. Yeah, I got time. Come on in. You ready? Yeah. All right, let's go. Oh, he's my favorite. <laughs> he's so funny. I'm into it. 